Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is No Way. No Way Out Radio. I just had a few things I wanted to say and bring out to those that are willing to listen, I guess. Many of you know that do know me know that I do a podcast on the internet. And the biggest thing the past couple of years has been edifying of the Bible. What is true within it. Where we are today in the happenings around the world and in so many different parts of our lives that truly, I feel, make a difference. But I've seen something happen the past few years. Is that more and more people don't want to hear the truth. It just... It offends them so bad. People are creatures of habit. And the powers to be have taught themselves how, they've learned how to direct and control your habits. What you see as important, what you see as, I guess, what's the biggest threat to your life that that you want? Something in this life, something in this world, What's the biggest threat? Well, the problem is, is it all started back in the 50s and the 60s. When they started this critical thinking, why do you think people like me, the school systems had such a hard problem with people like me, and and they made up all kinds of names for people like me? Class clowns. Well, he's just not focused. He won't focus on what needs to be focused upon. And he lives off somewhere else in his mind. We hear that about so many of us back in the, the 70s and the early 80s. So look what happened. In the early 90s, what was going on? They started pushing in all these disorders that were based towards our children. Your child can't focus on what we're trying to teach them because, well, they've got attention deficit disorder. And they wanted to start pumping these kids right full of drugs. Many parents saw through it and pulled their kids right off the drugs, refused to bow down to it. But now, ladies and gentlemen, it's alive and well. Critical thinking was never about teaching your child how to think critically and analyze the situation and the facts and come to a conclusion. What they created was... A sense of indoctrination that we will tell you what the answer is. When you are asked a question, this is the answer. So we do have many children today going out into the world, young adults, and many adults fell into the same thing. They truly do feel that they are critical thinkers that know how to think, but they can't think because somebody has to tell them what to think. Now, herein lies the problem. I have never asked anybody for nothing. Nothing. My wife and I, we pay for the internet. 
We pay for the electricity. We pay for the equipment I use here to do this. We pay for everything. And I create content and I bring it out to the people. But what's happened? I find myself now mostly speaking to a handful of people that, well, they're hearing, but they're not hearing. They're not learning. It's just another voice. It's just a, another person that says things the, the way that they want it to be. I've met on the internet a lot of people. And I only associate with a handful today. It's the same way when you're in school. What, When you're in school, what means more to you than anything? Oh, all your friends, you call them. Your friends. In school. But you know, when you graduate and you go out into the real world, you know how many of those friends you may associate with in your lifetime from when you leave high school to when you pass away? If you associate with two or three of them, you're far above average. Most people never see anybody from their school years ever again. They're a memory. They may cross paths at some point. They may reunite later on down the road, one or two. That's it. And it, it's the same way that the Internet has created the falsehoods, the changing of the habit, what has the changing of the habit created? If I were to fall into the world for what the world wants to, for me to believe the world truly is, then first and foremost, I would not be doing a biblical podcast. Because God wouldn't exist. The only thing that would matter is the right and left paradigm coming out of Washington, D.C. And if we only get rid of all the Democrats and the Democrats are sitting on the other side saying, if we only get rid of all the Republicans, we can have the country that we we want, that w that is fair, that is equal. And they they don't understand that's in their indoctrination. Same thing comes with the Bible. If it is not what they have already been conditioned into believing, and who has the authority to speak it and who does not, then the truth behind what the Bible is truly teaching us is missed, it's lost, it's gone. You'll never find it again. And this is where we are at today. I will never ever mix words. I will never ever water down anything. I am a very blunt person. If it comes to politics, if it comes to personal traits of uh, large groups of people, if it comes to their intent, if it comes to the effect of what it's going to have on society and on our culture, I will be very blunt about it. But you see, that's become taboo. Because it's not being nice. It's not being loving. It's not being caring. But what has this being nice, being loving, being caring created within our society today. Now, nobody is allowed to be offended. Nobody. 
You can't offend anybody. You can't stand up for your rights. Everybody has the right to step on you and crap on you and walk right over you, and you don't have the right to say a word. Well, why don't you just walk right over the people? Just be the same. Dog eat dog. That's what this world is. But that's what man created. And you know how I know this, ladies and gentlemen? I'm done with social media. I'm nowhere near social media. Since I left social media a few months ago, what I knew to be true already was proven to me. And that is that all of those thousands of people that I had as followers, none of that meant anything at all. It, it didn't. It didn't mean anything at all. Because when I deactivated all the accounts, I got rid of everything, I disappeared, it's like I don't need this. You know how many people I still associate with from all those thousands? Those that still care enough to... They know how to... People know how to get a hold of me. People know my email address. People know my home phone number. I'm with many on Skype. But what do I see? I have been forgotten. Because I'm not in feeding the system. I'm not in feeding the dopamine hits on the dopamine hits that people get from social media. I'm not on there feeding people's dopamine hits. I'm not on there feeding what they think is important when they don't realize none of it's important. It's all created for their entertainment, for their indoctrination. If you have to go to social media to see what you're supposed to be pissed off about today, then you are fully indoctrinated. That is exactly what it is creating. That's exactly what giving yourself over to the wicked to this world, to everything that's wrong. That's what it is. How can you speak out against mainstream media when you watch mainstream media? When you get your talking points and you get what you are to discuss today from them, when that's what it's created for, that is what propaganda is all about. Adolf Hitler created massive hardship in Germany. Massive. Then he conquered large sections of Europe and took all of this money into his country and he started handing it out in welfare to the people. The hardship then was given an enemy. That enemy was, well, the Jewish people. They're all the bank owners, the shop owners, the this, the that, the other thing. So when now a problem, a crisis comes about, the first thing the wicked does is the wicked creates the perpetrator of it then creates an anger and a hatred towards the perpetrator of the hardship that you suffer. Then he disarmed them. Then he turned his people free. The people made it legal for thuggery against the Jewish people. Because as far as they were concerned and all that they knew is that it was the Jewish people that were creating their hardships 
and everything that they have a problem with. So what is it today? What is creating all the problems in America today? Well, it's Christians. Christians, they're bigoted and they're, they're racist. And so, so what do you do all day? Because they're throwing out those accusations. You think the only way that you can combat what they're saying is by trying to debunk them and find enough people to join with you to attack these other people to defend your honor. When in fact, nobody's listening to them. Does it matter if 400,000 liberals listen to the hate speech coming out of CNN, MSNBC, NBC, ABC, all of, all of the filth? The people on the right don't listen to them. They don't care what they have to say. And in a way, that's a problem because that's why our schools now, we don't have control of our schools. We don't even have control of our children. And, well, it's everybody else's fault but yours. Ain't that how everybody thinks? I, I have probably two or three people from all that social media that that even talk to me now because I'm not there on social media feeding it all I I get a few things now and then in emails and nobody wants to talk shoot nobody even really is coming to our shows anymore I know I guess people don't want to really hear the truth of the Bible and what it's creating and what is truly going on in this world and who you're bowing down to and why are you bowing down to these people. You, you don't want to hear it anymore. So again, why would my wife and I continue to spend so much money? When is the end the end? The end is when there's no... There's no more prosperity. There's no more gain. There is no more moving forward in a righteous, godly way. Or in any form of fairness. When the only path forward leads to servitude to a government. And this internet that's all censored. You know, many laugh at us that say it's censored. Oh, I'm not censored. Do you think Google's going to censor bullshit? No. When it's just, when it's foolishness and it's craziness and it, it, it's complete lunacy and it makes no sense, but it's making Google millions of dollars, do you think they care? But those of us that come in and start Speaking the truth, what happens? Sure, you can't find our videos. You can't find our, our content. They bury our content because we're not making them money. And the ones that do listen, the ones that are at my podcast now, they're not listening to what I'm saying. For the most part, the chat rooms turned into a, I give a bunch of people a place to go congregate and talk about world events and talk about themselves and talk about what's going on and talk about everything and everybody other than what I'm talking about. But I see it at other shows. I see it everywhere i see it on friday night when i'm on the other network as a panelist i see it right there people aren't even listening to us in the chat room and the bad thing is is well the the one person that agrees with you is the person that's doing it you're talking about how people have left the church 
But in the chat room, you have people talking about, did you see what happened in government today? Did you see what they're saying in mainstream media today? So your message, is your message getting to these people? No, because they're on other sites and they're, you're just background noise. Well, they're there to promote themselves, to brag up about themselves. Attack my wife. Attack other people. Use other people's chat rooms to attack other people. It's ridiculous. So, who knows? Maybe the end is the end. I know God, I'm pretty sure God's had just about enough of what's been going on all everywhere. The children have no future, none whatsoever. The church has no future. Everything, everywhere, every platform, Every podcast, every YouTube video, every website is all filled with division and questions with no answers. Everybody thinks they have an answer, but that's the thing. Everybody thinks they have the answer. And if you'd only listen to me, but nobody's listening to nobody. The time has come, ladies and gentlemen. Satan knows his time is short. Everything that the book of Revelation says is going to happen and must come to pass is now coming to pass. The armies are gathering in the land of Armageddon. Everybody has turned their weapons towards Israel. Israel is now surrounded by her enemies on all sides. America has become the laughing stock Sodom and Gomorrah of the world. A communist Chinese government runs everything runs so many world economies and nobody sees it and nobody cares because the media is not talking about it and nobody nobody dares to venture out into the world of reality this world is such a big wonderful creation Some of us don't have the health to do what we used to do or what we would like to do. For someone like me, I just sat back and I'm, I'm watching the world tear itself apart, destroy itself, rip itself right apart, seam by seam by seam. And everybody's blaming everybody else. And nobody's looking in the mirror. If you can't come together as brothers and sisters in Christ, why would Christ want us? Love and unity and Happy, happy, joy, joy. I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe this is the end. Maybe I, after six and a half years, maybe I do just need to say goodbye to it all. I tried to save all the souls that I could possibly save plant that seed 
find God, find Christ, find the right, righteous way to be. And this world could, well, save itself. The problem is, is the world can't save itself because we can't save ourselves. The very ones we speak out against are the very ones we think that we can change. And we can't. So who knows? Who knows what the future holds? I have a very good idea. But I am not one to continue to beat a dead horse. I've never asked for nothing but your time. And now, most of us can't even get that. And it's too bad. And it's a shame. But hey, <laughs> it is what it is, is it not? We were warned. You can see all the prophecies of the end, end times playing out. It's right there before you. Every single day. They say there's no evangelism because everybody wants to dictate what evangelism is. And nobody wants to pick up the Bible and read the Bible. And you can't pick up the Bible and read the Bible anymore because now you have a whole group of people coming at you, calling you ignorant and stupid because you can't see the changes. And even if you see the changes, you're not sitting there babbling on like a bumbling fool for a couple hours <laughs> people are looking at information out there and well maybe the earth is flat oh there's new evidence out there what a telephoto lens of a boat traveling horizontal if it was traveling away from you, you'd see it sink. If it's traveling sideways, then yeah, it's not going to. It's going to be right there because it's traveling sideways. What you're not seeing is that it's traveling in a circle like this. Facts are facts. But because everybody now seems to be entitled to their own opinion and their own opinion create, creates their own facts, and the truth is long gone. See, information leads to knowledge. Knowledge leads to, vil to wisdom. Wisdom is the knowledge to filter the information. You need to know what information to take in and what information is just there to indoctrinate you so you do away with it. You don't entertain it. Seek out that what you want to know and learn. And yes, if you have to listen to five different opinions to find the truth, now use your own common sense. Not just what is pleasing to the ear for the truth. So who knows, ladies and gentlemen, this may be the, uh, the, the end, this, this may be goodbye. I've had a good run, but I'm not one to keep continuing to beat a dead horse when people I've associated with for a few years is now resorted to attacking my wife. I can't put up with that. So, hey, who knows? Until the next time, this is no way out.